welcome back masters and time for the next question this question is very deep and allow me to narrate this question to all of you the question says how was my past life is it because of that i am suffering in this present is there solution to come out of it and be blessed so in a way there are three questions right how was my past life is it because of that i am suffering in this present is there solution to come out of it and be blessed so let's proceed with the question number 1 the question number 1 is how was my past life many people these days have this curiosity to know that how was their past life i will not say that it is a invalid or illogical curiosity because human mind is working on the essence of curiosity only all i would like to say is that what you are today is also based on the the sanskars or the etiquette or the work that you have accumulated from the past life so there will be reflections of it traces of it or maybe it will totally be driving your life also so that is the answer to the first question it's not necessary to know that how or what was your past life but yes in the in many various scriptures and in various researches also it has been uh, thought of it has been researched that our past lives comes or sanskars actually get carried forward so this is the a concept of soul and that is what i would like to say to answer to this question now coming back to the second question that you had is it because of that i am suffering in this present so i would say there is no suffering or bliss actually which is there it is just how we perceive it which makes something a suffering or which makes the similar thing or the same thing a blessing so it totally depends on how we consider it think about it or look at it so yes because there were some past sanskars in the previous lifetimes maybe and which got carried forward over here at the same time the purpose of the life is such that we have to evolve and raise our bar where we if uh, elevate ourselves from those uh, heavy emotions or heavy thought patterns so whatever your past karm was you still have the chance in this lifetime of being in a human body to erase that karm by working on your thought patterns with the help of that working on your feelings with the help of that working on your behaviors and actions so maybe you think that you are suffering but maybe that's a calling from your soul that please do something to your thoughts do something to your feelings behaviors and actions so that you start to feel the bliss and whereas there is no suffering and no bliss ultimately you will transcend to the level where everything is everything is just as it is for you you're not even compartmentalizing them in good or bad positive or negative it's just there and you're okay with that and you are you are just living your life purposefully so this is what i would like to answer for the second question in this question that you asked now the third question uh, is that is there a solution to come out of it and be blessed so i think that while partially i have already answered this question while answering the second question uh still i would like to answer it further that yes there is a solution the solution is living life mindfully solution is to accept the situations and take the responsibility to work on those situations by not blaming anyone else and not yourself as well but just thinking from the perspective that how you can take care of this situation in the most graceful and dignified manner remember winning is not the objective for us in any situation grace and dignity is the objective for us in every situation so whatever you do to take care or handle any situation or any matter of your life remember that the grace and dignity should remain intact there 
and then you will automatically win that situation. So yes, you can work uh, on your feelings, thought patterns, behaviors, actions in the complete harmony with your soul. And for that, you can use mindfulness, you can use meditation, you can use neuro-linguistic programming, understanding and techniques, you can use the techniques and tools of emotional intelligence. Whatever you choose to use, it will bring you in becoming blessed because you're already blessed basically but yes you will realize that you are blessed when you apply all these things so i think that i was able to answer your question to the best of my capability just in case if something has been missed out please do not hesitate to ask it again in the comment box or any of our social media platforms i would love to answer it completely for you thank you for asking this see you soon mm -hmm.